So my session was about how open banking can challenge the dominance of card payments in the e-commerce space. And I gave five um, uh, points about you know things that open banking has to do in order to get there. Open banking has an advantage over cards that it can give people access to data more easily. So it can give them access to their uh, to their to their data, to what payments they are making, what payments they have authorised with which companies, far easier than card payments have. Once that is in place and is able to uh, able to be realised, that will make open banking a serious competitor to card payments. Events like this uh, enable people to exchange ideas, to come in and hear uh, new new ways of thinking, new ways of doing things, and also to. Uh, here challenges, right? Challenges that they have to over overcome in order to be great. And I think that events like this really play a key role in making sure that the industry can grow and things like open banking, open payments and so on can really take off and be resilient at the same time. I think the next place that this sort of idea is going to be applied is in identity verification. The concept of open identity, um, you know, me being able to verify who I am, uh, not just using the traditional methods, but also using things like digital identity, social media presence and so on, things like that, uh, to build up a, an identity picture that can be used to verify who I am as a person and can be ported around, portable identity around different places. I think that's really going to become a big thing and where the principles of open banking and open finance are going to find purchase next.